It was December 1970, in a little river town. He lay lifeless in his coffin, with his friends all gathered round. The room filled with flowers, with many friends he had, and each friend sharing their own story, some happy while others sad. The man had been a farmer for years he'd worked the land, and working with his only son, an occasional extra hand. And there his story changes to that of another man, one who worked for the farmer, who was that extra hand. Slim was just a farmhand, dollars he had few, but with farm wages and a large family, there wasn't much he could do. The others who had all gathered and dressed in their finest wear, for Slim it was bibbed overalls, his, his presence he would not dare. His nice clothes Slim could not afford, his nice floral was the same, not being able to pay respects was, was driving Slim insane. Slim headed to the five and dime, his last dollar in his hand, and Slim purchased one simple plastic flower for the friend that had worked the land. At the funeral home, Slim stood quietly, knocking on the back door. He told the one who'd met him there exactly what was the score. Now we opened to pay his last respects, and but nice clothes he had none, and then asked the man to hide him from flowers, and in back and please would he tell his son. When the son was told the story, he quickly raced to the door, and there he reached for Slim's shaken hand as, as he began to pour. Insisting Slim come inside, he'd have it no other way, leading Slim to see his dad where his last respects he'd pay. Slim saw all the beautiful flowers, and in the world and room that he came, tears in his eyes he bowed his head, for Slim felt so ashamed. Placing an arm around Slim's shoulders, the son removed the flower from his hand, and centering it then in his dad's wreath, just as if it were planned. Sure, the flowers are all pretty, he said, but yours mean the most to me, so I'm placing it here in the center, for all the world to see. It's not about the money one has, nor the money one has not. It's the love of God has the share, for God it is the thought.'"